great and then I realized my phone needs to charge so I need to change my setup. Anyway, we are here. I'm kind of excited for a couple of reasons. So I thought today we would design the Vanellope bustle dress so that way I could get accurate or close to accurate yardage counts um, so I could set up a goal on Kofi. Um, a couple of you guys seemed really interested in helping me crowdfund for bigger projects that I necessarily wouldn't be able to afford myself. And so I thought this would be a great opportunity to start doing that. Um, but I also don't want to like throw out a random number that like may be too little or too much because I feel like both problems, both are cause problems. And anyway, I want to get accurate accurate yardage counts and then I also want just to be very transparent with like what the project will be and what it will entail um, and all that because I feel like if you're going to crowdfund for something you need to be clear about your deliverables and you need to actually deliver them. So those are my thoughts. These are all the thoughts that have been swirling in my head. I'm kind of like honestly just really anxious to do this. Um because it's a thing. It's really a thing. Also, as I'm saying this, like, if you, like, w cannot in any way contribute to, like, these Kofi crowdfunded things, don't feel like you have to. Um, watching the ads on my YouTube videos also helps fund things, so just saying that. Um, yeah. Okay, so it, it's, um, can I talk? How about I get a drink real quick? That might help. Okay. So, what was I saying? I have been doing Pinterest research on what I wanted this to look like, and Pinterest isn't always the best, but I figured since we're going for more of a co historical cosplay versus like historical clothing, if I fudge details or if things are like, what's it called? Not absolutely perfect, then that's fine. This is a cosplay. So, oh, by the way, I added flower crowns to my hat wall. Here's my ADD for today. So I have a purple one and a yellow one and I am so happy with them. Anyway, love my hat wall. I have a Regency bonnet that I need to figure out how to put on. I think it'll go right there, maybe? But those two colors would be very similar so maybe it'll just go up top. Um, the brim does stick, the crown sticks out a lot so um, well, it might be best if I just do it out there. Um, how am I? I am doing good. Are those the flower crowns you made with your mom? No. So I actually ended up, um, because we had a lot of leftover flowers and I just didn't know what I was going to do with them all. Um, so I took apart the ones that my mom and I made and I made new ones. So, like they're the same flowers, we use the same techniques, I just made them, remade them after she left. But I am super excited. Um, the pinky purple one will match. I'm pointing to this. I had to hide it because I can't show you guys this dress yet. Um, but the pinky purple one will match the princess dress that I talked about on my live last week. Um, and then the yellow one will be really cute for fall pictures, I think. So that's what I'm excited about. Okay, right, I need to move Alice. She keeps creaking. So my table, my big work table, isn't the most sturdy thing in the world. And then when I like put other creaky things, um, excuse me, like near it so it'll like get bumped or whatever, it just, it's a mess and I don't like it. Anyway. Let's see. Hi from Delaware, I love your cute new dress, so fun and bright. Yeah, I love it too. When did this video come out? A couple weeks ago? Um, I honestly think I need a couple more of these dresses, um, just in like other bright fun colors, because when I go to like get dressed in the morning, like this is the dress I grab. Like I don't grab any other clothes, and I have other really cute clothes. Anyway. 
I need to go through and do like a closet purge because there's things that I don't wear anymore um, and things that I just don't need in my, like if I'm not going to wear it, then why do I need it, right? Um, oh, that's something I can mention briefly. Um, I was thinking about, like I don't know where I would put them up for sale, but as I do yearly closet purges, like would you guys be interested in buying like from my wardrobe? things like that um, like I don't know where I would put it up at um, and it would all be like mostly it would mostly be either samples or like variations of things from my pattern line um, so yeah I don't know if you guys are remotely interested in that let me know otherwise I'll just like Like thrift, donating to thrift stores is such an iffy thing. So I'd love those. Okay. Um, yeah, when I get closer to like actually trying to figure that out, I might, um, what's it called? Post polls and stuff about that. Okay. We are here to talk about a bustle dress. So I feel like the base goal that I'm going to set is just for, cause I've talked about doing multiple skirts and multiple bodices. So that way I will have like a Regency dress that will like span pretty much any, not a Regency, a bustle dress that'll span any like situation, event, uh, level of formality that I would want. Um, I don't know how many like actual historical costuming events I'm going to actually end up going to where this would be pr a practical thing to make. Um, so it's just something that I've been thinking that I just want in my costume collection. Anyway, point. Um, I was thinking about making the base goal just for the Vanellope bustle dress. So specifically things that I want for like when I do the historical cosplay of Vanellope. Um, and then whatever gets exceeded will be like those other pieces that I want to like build out a bustle wardrobe basically. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. So if this estimate comes out to be, if the goal comes out to be like what you think is really small compared to like what you think this should, this bigger arching wardrobe project should cost, like that's why. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. I've been rambling for a while. Let's get designing so I'm not gonna be able to see your comments very well because we're just on my phone let's see where's right there see I didn't have this set up the way I needed to oh oh that's perfect because you can see the paper it's gonna be upside down though Okay, I will sketch what I'm thinking and then I will turn it so you guys can see it, but this will also allow me to see the comments. So it's a blank piece of paper. Why did I just turn it back? All right. So there are specific things that I have seen in my Pinterest research. Um, oops, that's going to be too big. I used to be really into art in high school. I want a shelfy bustle. That's a bustle shape, right? Okay, so that's a side view. And that's the front view. Cool. So things that I've been seeing is um, I liked this kind of wrap. So where's her shoulders? Shoulder. Shoulder. Kind of a wrap style bodice. I think this was more like a dinner evening bodice. Um, but then it also had like a layer of ruffles. 
mean, I'd want a peaked front because I like the look of peaked front. Um, but, like, there's a layer of ruffles around the neckline. Um, and I really liked that. And then we could do, like, some sort of asymmetrical skirting. I don't know. The layer that I do know that I want is this underskirt. So I saw on a fashion plate there was like a scalloped underskirt. That was like, it was basically a ruffled underskirt with like scallops. And I thought it was super cute. Um, and Vanellope skirt reminds me of like the um, wrapper for like a Reese's cup. How it's kind of like pleated and ruffled. Uh, so that's really what I wanted to mimic for this. And I honestly feel like, like that would be. Because then the bottom layer was just pleated I think. So that's what I want for the underskirt, and that would be brown. I really shouldn't be coloring this until I figured the rest of it out. But whatever, I grabbed multiple sheets of paper. Okay, cool. But I really kind of like the idea of doing some sort of... Like, obviously, bustles to me have, like, a lot of, like, gathers, but I also want some sort of, like, big empty space where I could, like, draw on cupcakes and, like, sweets. and things like on the overdress uh, mostly because she has a lot in her hair um, I think adding like a striped border to match her socks would be really cute too I just here we go because I'm going to talk for talk at you guys for a minute I feel like this is one of those things where it's just like, I have these ideas, but I don't know how they're going to come together yet. Um, because part of what Vanellope wears is a hoodie, and so I would love to put a hood on the bodice because I think that would be super cute. Um, I'm trying to pop my finger and it's not popping. There we go. What else am I thinking? Like, I want the main color scheme to be, um, well, I want the main dress to be, like, that turquoise blue color that is her hoodie, um, and then I want to add the stripes of cream and, like, pops of the hot pink, because she has a hot pink in her bow and a couple other hot pink details, um, so I'm just trying to, like, figure out how to put that all in together and then like how to draw it all out for you guys because I'm not used to drawing out designs and like what I'm thinking so yeah yeah putting a hood on it is kind of like non-negotiable like it doesn't matter what the bodice looks like I want a hood which, so the crossover one, I feel like would be perfect for a hood. Um, and then we could put like the ruffles in like around the edge of the hood too. I'm just, don't, don't quite know what I'm doing. And I feel like it's showing. Anyway. Cute, I can see it in my head. Okay, yeah, I'm glad you do. Okay, so let me, like, let's focus on the bodice. I feel like once I get the bodice done, 
Um, I already know what I want the underskirt to look like, and so it would just be the overskirt. So we're talking about three pieces that would be seen. I also need to do um, the foundation garments, and so that's going to be part of like the goal because I don't have foundation garments for this time period. Okay, so let's focus on the bodice. Let's get that done. So if we new paper. Let's just do the bodice. Okay, so in the fashion plate, I really did like the look of the crossover top, and maybe if we just bring the top all the way to the side. This is supposed to be ruffles, so let's make that line wavy. I feel like that is the bodice shape that I want. So if we have another line of ruffles, because this is a cross top, that's not symmetrical. Whatever. And then I guess if we're doing a hood, I should draw a head. Yeah. And then the ruffles just go up the hood. That looks almost like a fur trim versus a ruffle trim. Whatever. Um, the sleeves, I'm thinking three quarter length sleeves because that's my preference. So we'll just do a three quarter sleeve. Um, I am wondering if I should put like a, where's the Vanellope color? Ah, close enough. I feel like it's a little bit darker than this but close enough. Um, anyway, in the middle of the ruffle or the gather, I almost want to put like a ribbon that'll be like teal on one side, white in the middle, and then teal on the other, just to like mimic the candy stripe that's on her um, socks and like the candy stripe that I plan on putting on the skirt. Right, and so then you could also put the bow at the back the waist so oh, a bright pink bow on the back of the waist I love that idea poofy sleeves with ruffles would look like candy wrappers they would um, I'm just really set on this bodice that I saw on a fashion plate um, and other than the hood I don't know if I'm willing to like make alterations to that bodice if that makes sense like I had a very specific idea on what this bodice should look like I mean realistically I'm probably never going to wear this hood up so it will just be like decorative I would make it so I could though because that would be fun but then if I add like some striping detail on the sleeve maybe Ooh, why are you squeaking okay so basically just like a really simple bodice right And I'd want a more simple bodice because 
like this skirt's gonna be crazy. Okay. What do you guys think of that bodice? I do like the idea of... Okay, so here's the thing. If instead of pointed, we make it straight across... Do I have a hot pink color? course the like lead or whatever in this one is completely broken yeah so that's the hot pink if we do it a straight across then I could do I guess the waistline would be a little bit higher too okay if I do it straight across then we can do like a pink sash which would allow me to put a big pink bow in the back, which I think would be super cute. Okay, what do you guys think about that? Looks cute. Cool. So then like the overskirt. Right, and so I would love to have bunting is the word that comes to mind. I know that's not correct, um, but like some sort of like gathering, right? But also some sort of place to like put all the sweets and things. So I don't know. Will the ruffles also be hot pink? You mean the ruffles on the bodice? Those will be brown. Um, because that'll help bring the petticoat color up and make it seem more balanced. I would also love to have like the ties for that. That's done wrong. I don't know. I've got to figure out this bow. I would love to just have like bow. What I'm actually thinking is I haven't paid attention to enough bustle over skirts to really understand the realistic shapes I could get with one. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I haven't done enough research. But yeah, something that is like gathered up, ruched, that's the word, something that's ruched, um, but also has a space to have like a trim detail. Where I can, like the same, like this same like ribbon treatment or whatever I would love to put something similar around the overskirt um, and then I would also love to put like candy wrappers and 
like cupcakes. How do you draw a cupcake? how you draw a cupcake anyway like just on this overskirt because then you add that with the petticoat which is going to be like our little Hershey cup thing Is that the look we want? Where's my... Like I might have to wire this bow to get it as big and as full as I want. So if we have this overskirt in the same color as the bodice with the sash and the bow on the back and then whatever trimming on the side. And then I'm just going to call it the Reese Cup Underskirt. Oh my gosh, seeing this all drown out just like makes me so happy. It looks so cute. You could put the sweets on just over it. An apron front gives the pleats in front, but not as a gap. Okay, so I have looked at the apron front styles before. Um, I'm not a big fan of the apron front, and I feel like an apron front would cover up the, um, the underskirt, which I'm totally willing to do. Um, I just don't know, like, I feel like I haven't paid enough attention to bustle dresses to really know. Um, yeah, so Noelle and I have been talking, um, about this project because we've been talking about making bustle dresses together. Um, and like she's off, she's been giving me some awesome advice for that. Again, like I paid attention to like, oh, what do the underskirts look like? What do the bodices look like? But when I was like looking at stuff, I didn't pay attention to like the shape of over skirts, which is a failure on my part, which I'm just now realizing. But I'm actually really, really happy with this idea. I've just got to figure out like the actual details of this overskirt, but I would probably paint the
the um, candies on. That seems like the easiest way to do it because like I could applique it all but it's not gonna look as clean. Plus I feel like an animated um, candy and sweets would fit very well with the fact that I'm like making an animated character. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? Here, I'll move it back down so you guys can see this. I'm kind of in love with this idea. I'm gonna have to flesh out details and get a better drawing of it for you guys. But this definitely helps me figure out yardage um, and what I would want and like what I want design wise because it's always it's been ideas in my head I just haven't fleshed it out bustle skirts are very different yeah especially when you're just used to working with an a-line silhouette and bustle silhouette whole nother ballgame Because first of all, just like figuring out the drape to get elegantly around the bustle, I feel like is my, the hardest part for me. I'll figure it out though. But I do like the idea of adding in stripes to match her leggings and definitely with this Reese cut petticoat. The more trim, the better, um, dependent on the era. I was thinking applique or embroidery, but then again, my best friend has a machine embroidery business. I would love to do embroidery. Um, I don't have the patience to hand embroider, and there's no way I'm going to be able to afford to pay someone to um, machine embroider these for me. Especially since, like, I would want to design them and, like, they would have to, like, specially digitize, like, my designs and then, like, make them appliques. And there's just a whole lot that, like, would go into this process um, that I feel like it would just be, like, beyond the scope of the project to do embroideries. But paint is good. Paint is cheap. I can do paint. Um, and for like a one-off cosplay, like I feel like paint is just fine. I'm going to draw these put together because that's the way my brain wants to do things today apparently. So if we go here. You guys are going to see the real artistic talent I have. Drawing people at three quarter. I don't know how to draw bustles at three quarter. Maybe that's the angle I need. right about there. So this is the sash. That's the 
the bodice. The hood would sit somewhere right there on the shoulder. Maybe it just needs a small apron and then we can go like flat in the back I guess because that would allow for room for oh I like this I really like this Okay, let's just block out the colors. Real quick. Forgot to add turquoise stripe. Depending on fabric, I might line the hood with the pink. Because that would give a fun pop of color. I don't think the bow is going to be that ridiculous, but just for visualization sake, visualizing sake, there's the bow. have to make sure that some of like the candy details are in hot pink just to help tie in that color down here.
haven't spent this much time like drawing and coloring in a long time. My hand is cramping. All right, ta-da. Oh guys, I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna add this wavy edge cause it's a ruffle. Okay, this is gonna be so cute. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. I mean, obviously there's gonna be like other colors, right? Cause we're gonna add like pieces of chocolate down here. And like, I don't know. We'll have all sorts, like this piece will be just super colorful. Cause that's the way candies are. All right, well, I feel like that gave us a very clear idea about what we're working towards. I don't know. I think I could pull that off. The um, small apron front was a really good idea. I'm sorry to whoever suggested that before and I just completely discounted it. But I feel like I could make that work and that look good. Um, I had for foundations, I was planning on wearing a corset I already have. Um, but I am going to need a bustle. Um, and I'm going to need a couple petticoats. Um, just so that way everything is like shaped nicely and the way that it needs to be. So I will figure out yardage for that as well as the actual dress and not next week, right? Let's look at a calendar. Oh, I do everything digitally now. Okay. Um, <sighs> yeah, so I don't think next week is the first... So next week I should have this all figured out um, and a goal set up and I will make sure to like send out links through the community tab on YouTube um, and like also like announce it in my stories. I don't have the swipe up thing or else I'd say I put it in the stories. Anyway, um, I will get this all figured out and let you guys know when that is live. Next week is July 1st. Thank you. Okay. So, nope, because that makes sense with my content calendar. So, next week I will give you guys an update on everything I've been working on in my studio. And then the week after, um, on July 5th, is the summer pattern line launch. Um, and then I'll go through all of the summer pattern pieces with, um, all the summer pieces with you guys on the live. So, that's the, uh, that's the schedule for the next couple weeks. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. This was a lot of fun and I'm really optimistic that this will all just be a thing and we can have fun and like work on 
work towards goals and stuff together. So that being said, um, I will see you guys on Monday for a new video and see you guys live next week for, uh, what I've been working on update. So that's all I have for you guys. Have a great week. Bye. Mm -hmm.